back to the place where I was born, I'm going to find a lot of the guys that I grew up with still standing on them same street corners. So they never did go nowhere. They're going to be working still, shining shoes, sweeping the streets and calling for white people. I had to go into the army in order to get out of my hometown. Put my age up. Went in. The only good thing about it was that I was able to get out of the country. Now, getting out of this country, the United States, and going to Portugal, I was able to see what they were doing to my own people back here. At that particular time, they had kind of a dictatorship. I had a peculiar job of being in charge of about 40 Portuguese houseboys. My responsibility to make sure they were at work, make sure that they were at the job. And if they weren't there, then it was my job to find out why they weren't there. I had to go into town, I had to go, uh, go to their homes and whatever. And some of the things I saw were just appalling. Of course, they were peasants. They didn't have any medical facilities. They, uh, uh, they didn't have any security on, on, on the few little jobs that they did have. Uh, there was no chance for them to, to, to get any kind of education. Uh, their housing was, was, was deplorable. They just lived in old shacks. And it really made me feel bad. And it made me feel really, you know, it just made me feel terrible to know that, that it was happening to my people right back there and that I was a part of it in Portugal. And I tell you, I got to, to the point where I just did everything I could to help those people out and, and to flunk those people who were the explorers. You know, lucky I didn't even get I didn't get court martial or something over there. I ain't gonna list some of the things that I did. But I tell you one thing, I came back here burning. I came back here burning and I tell you, people who go into the wars or get a chance to go overseas, the Second World War, the Korean conflict. Of course, now the Vietnam, Vietnam War, the guys that go over there and, and eat that dog food and fight in those trenches, often not knowing what it's for. A lot of those guys having to leave, just, just going in the Army just to try to find a job, or going into the Army just to get out of town like I did. They don't want to be there. They don't, they don't believe in what they're doing. And they get over there, and they, 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 they have to come back burnt, just like I did. Yeah. 